We're your voice because we are the unleashed voice. Absolutely. We're, we're, giving, we're giving life to Memphis, Tennessee, so we want you to come down, sit at the table with us, say what's on your mind. You can talk about anything you want to, but you just can't curse. No, that's not true. <laughs> Yes, you can. No. Yes, well, I won't curse. We can talk about gin and juice. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> well, I'll talk about what happened this morning in Memphis Black Pride. We oh. have what we call the Ladybug Tea Gathering, where we actually had uh, performances from same gender loving individuals. But the most, I think, influential part was we had a lot of individuals coming out supporting their family members today. Yes, we had a young lady that was performing. She was a mime. She performed to gospel music and she had her sons with her. And they were like, we support our mom 100%. And that was fantastic. Not only that, we actually honored the oldest living transgender woman of color in the city of Memphis. She's 75 years old. Yeah. Her name was Laverne Jackson. Okay. And Actually, one of our youth here actually passed um, her flowers as well as presented her with a trophy. And she just cried and she thanked everyone for that. So th to me, that's what pride is all about. Exactly. Loving each other, loving and supporting each other. And like I said, come on out and be a part of what we're doing now, which is the pool party. And on tonight, we're even looking forward to even bigger and better things. So what's going on tonight? Club Lipstick. Club All lipstick. roads yeah. lead down to Club Lipstick. Yeah. I know it's on Ridgeway Road <laughs> and Winchester. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. on it. Yeah, get you some donuts. Yes, and please get some donuts on the way. But I will be looking forward to everyone coming in. Please come and have a great time with us. I mean, we had a fantastic time last night. Really? So tonight is going to even be greater. On tomorrow, we're going to have a fantastic time. So I just welcome everyone in the city of Memphis. Look, gay, straight, lesbian, bisexual, questioning. Come out and have a good time with us at Memphis Black Pride 2015. But I don't want you to leave because it's some more we got to talk about before uh, okay. the party. Because we got to take a quick commercial break. Not a problem. So don't you change that dial. Go ahead and call your friends and tell them to tune in to AM 990. Or go to www.relationshipunleashed.com for the Unleashed Voice. We'll be right back. There should be a master control if you want to turn down the volume during the breaks, or, or if you want to turn down the microphones during the breaks. Is it coming through there? It's not right now because he's not feeding it. So let me change that real quick. Yeah, we're here at Field Worship Service, and each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for our 
around Bible study. You do not want to miss these power pack services. We are a church for all people, and we welcome you as we transform the mythic culture. The church is located in the Bible Presbyterian Church. John, can you hear me? Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Dr. Darnell Bruce Jr., senior pastor of the Cathedral Praise Church of Memphis Incorporated, and I hope to see you there. Out911.com is Memphis' only all LGBT resource that provides local events and news for the LGBT community in the greater Memphis area. You can find local news, world news, events, and much more on the website, as well as relationship-only showtimes and topics in the Out911.com daybook. Check them out. The same is life. Well, guess what? I'm here to save you from the same old thing. Sean Clemens Boutique of Customized Kits and other items can be found on Facebook and Instagram at that one q Demo. Call it today at 265-5861. You bring it and she'll bring it. Pampin' Me Nail Salon is located inside the W Salon at 1692 Madison. The Nail Diva Kimberly Brink should be your premier choice for natural nail care and superb maintenance on your hands and feet. Give her a call today at 314-4100 to book your appointment. And we're back. This is the Unleashed Voice for the LGBTQ community broadcasting live from the Host Hotel for the 2015 Memphis Day Pride. We are here celebrating our movement in history, our uh, enlightenment period, our uh, freedom. So this is coincidence, June 10th, and Memphis Black Gay Pride on the same weekend. Absolutely. Isn't that something? Yeah, Absolutely. Isn't that something? So, uh, Lady Boo. Yes. How long have you been on the battlefield in the community fight? Well, you know, I didn't know we had actually a closet to go into because it looked like as soon as I was born, they were calling me all type of different names and everything. So, oh, what they used to call me? Oh, they used to call me Michael Jackson, <laughs> sissy, fag, queer, punk, homosexual, yeah. all those different words. And what I actually decided to do was when I got a certain age, I started looking up these words. Mm -hmm. And I realized these people were calling out things that I was not a part of. So I decided to flip the words to make them mean what I needed for them to mean. So now, whatever you call me, I'm like, okay, that's your word. But to me, I'm beautiful. Uh -huh. To me, I'm fantastic. To me, I am wonderful. So with those words that they use and the words that I put together, I came out fabulous. <laughs> that's something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I tell you, you took the meaning, you took the meaning away from the word. And the Absolutely. power of the word out of the word, in which they were actually giving to it, which was negative, yes. and I changed those negative words into a positive word for myself. That's wonderful. So, and then I started looking into my history, and I was finding out that all these great people were doing fantastic things in life, so when I found that, I was like, well, why should I be, like, depressed or sad because I identify as same gender loving? Mm -hmm. And so now, hey, you can't stop me now. I'm all about the love, the support, the diversity, and that's what makes the world go around. Color. So tell me, what does Memphis Pride mean to you? Oh, it is so many different meanings for me. First of all, it means freedom. Mm -hmm. It means love. Uh -huh. It means wholeness to me. Uh -huh. I don't actually have to hide who I am. And I know of individuals that are of certain, you know, of a certain age, and they're still trying to hide things from their parents and relatives. And they're like in their 40 and 50s. And so I decided, no, I don't want to live like that. And so I have like kids that I'm helping to mentor and different things like that. So what I wanted to do was to show them that you can live this life holistically, mm -hmm. being same gender loving in the Bible Belt, in the South, and being gay, so hey, live and let live. So how long have you been a part of Pride, Memphis Pride? I think I've been a part of Memphis Pride for like maybe 16, 17 years, but after a while you just stop counting. <laughs> and I enjoy the work. I enjoy um, working with the founder and the organizer of this Pride. Um, great guy, fantastic. I highly respect him for the work in which he's been doing. And the part that I really respect about it is he doesn't wait on anyone. He gets up, he gets the job done, and he welcomes anyone to be a part of this. And that's what this is all about. It doesn't matter what race, what background, what nationality you are. If you want to make Memphis a better place, mm -hmm. come and be a part of Memphis Black Pride. Well, definitely. We, we uh, David and I, we already uh, committed to uh, joining the planning committee. So, Fantastic. Uh, for 16, mm -hmm. and we want to, you know, add our contribution to it. And, and give Memphis what it deserves. Absolutely. You know, a quality, good quality. And I say that you're not doing it, but uh -huh. you know, we're ready to take this thing. And so when people think about Memphis Pride, they want to catch flight. 
Absolutely. Stop coming to our city Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Like we ventured out to DC and Miami Absolutely. and Atlanta. We want to put Memphis on the map and mm -hmm. then a place that you want to travel to and come and see what we're doing down here in the South because I think I think it's I think it's important Very. that the LG, LGBT community learn that until we all band together and Absolutely. stand together mm -hmm. about who you are in your truth, mm -hmm. that then that's that's when people understand that they have to respect you. Absolutely. And if you don't respect yourself or you don't think that what you're doing is worthy to be acknowledged, then it won't be acknowledged. Absolutely. And one of the things I would like to add with what you're stating is we have so much rich history. Exactly. When you start studying who you are and the people that we're from, you would be amazed. Like one of the things that amazes me is that even during the 63 March, I stand, I'm actually in a hotel that maybe 20, 30 years ago, I couldn't, I couldn't even be here unless I was working here. But now I am celebrating my diversity. I'm celebrating my individuality, not only just myself, but with friends yeah. and with great icons that are in the office, in the, um, in the atmosphere and, and, and present here with us today. That's big, that's huge. And one of the greatest, um, I think, jobs that I would really like to do is that when my time is up, when it's time for me to retire, mm -hmm. I look forward to the next generation coming along and not thanking me, but thanking all of us for saying thank you for allowing me to be who I am, not only in the city of Memphis, but can go anywhere in the United States and they don't have to hide who they are. You know, I think that's very profound, and I think that's what Memphis Black Pride is doing. I think we would definitely see. I think mm -hmm. uh, one thing that's going to calm a lot of fears is when the marriage equality absolutely is passed, mm -hmm. and therefore they can't deny that you're legitimate a couple, absolutely. and that you would be entitled to benefits, and you can go to work and uh, bring your license and, yes. and your spouse uh, into your employer, mm -hmm. and 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 it's recognized because right now it's not. So they, they they try to take uh, devalue it in this absolutely. Sense. So I think that all those things are going to give us equal footing Absolutely. with the heterosexual community mm -hmm. and then for our transgender brothers and sisters yes. that uh, mm -hmm. the, the attention and awareness to their their fight. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of us working together in unison, black and white, Absolutely. and Hispanic, and mm -hmm. any other race that's out there, they feel that you know this is important to stand up to. So. I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm still here to see it because it's been a long road for me my, yes, as well. I do understand. And, uh, I feel like I can see the finish line now, but I know our fight is not over and uh, it won't stop what we're doing. And like you said, think about 30 years ago, yes. we're on a, a, a CBS affiliate radio station, uh -huh. uh, Memphis Talk Radio. They've been in Memphis 50 years. Uh -huh. They probably were segregated at one time. Absolutely. And Absolutely. now we're black and we have a radio show primarily target and geared toward the LGBTQ community. Absolutely. You know, AM 990, KWAM, and they yeah. love us and they welcome us and they're, they're here with us right now and it wasn't even a blink of an eye about That's coming great. in and putting their name up with Memphis Pride. Absolutely. So let me also send a shout out to uh, parents of individuals that may have gay children, lesbian children. One of the things that I definitely would like to push this year is to just emphasize and to let the radio audience know that if you have anyone in your family that is gay, lesbian, transgender, whatever it may be, I just challenge you to just love the person. Yes. Love the person. Yes. Not only just the parents and, and family members, but also to our churches here. Love the person. And I guarantee you this will be a it'll be a better place. And I look forward to that day to where I can actually work with young people who do not have to struggle with suicidal thoughts because they feel as though that their mom and dad don't love them. Or they feel as though that they can't go to a, a religious institution because they feel like they're going to be judged and ostracized for that. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm constantly working with Memphis Black Pride so that we can make not only just the city of Memphis but the United States, maybe even the world, where our children can grow up in love. Because I think that's the most important thing that we can, we can offer them right now is unconditional Love. Yeah. Well, you know, our community needs a lot of healing yes. in itself. Mm -hmm. And our community, our, our, our gay brothers and sisters need to understand that, they, that you got to learn to love yourself. Absolutely. And that understand that God loves you yes. uh, regardless of your sexuality. Mm -hmm. And I think that once that they break that embedded belief mm -hmm. and those embedded religious beliefs yes. are broken, and then they won't allow anybody to put them down or be subjected to that or sit in a church and continue to tie Absolutely. where they are not appreciated only for their talents. Absolutely. And I think that will move us further when they stand up and say they need an economic impact.